Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Breaking news. Major bullion dealers have stopped selling physical silver. Let's explore. Yes. This short squeeze looks to be a real thing. We're going to take a look and analyze this a bit, at least from the information I was able to gather this morning in this breaking news situation. Several other channels have already started posting videos about this situation, which uh, essentially has broken overnight here. Major bullion dealers have stopped selling silver, Atmex being the biggest of them all. And you see on this statement on their website, do to unprecedented demand on physical silver products we are unable to accept any additional orders for a large number of products until global markets open sunday evening now as most of you are aware on this channel i do a market watch live stream every sunday evening at 6 p.m eastern when the markets open in asia so it's going to be quite interesting to see this evening at 6 p.m i encourage you to be there as we cover these markets live and see what kind of movement we are going to see in the price of silver but as you can see and we'll look at the price where it stands right now with the markets closed it's a quiet weekend but everyone is anticipating a parabolic move in silver prices why is that well it's a short squeeze you've heard me talk about it in a prior video with some reluctance that they would be successful but apparently it is running the bullion dealers scared because there has been an unprecedented demand uh, due to this activity, literally. And the last time we used that word was um, back during March, April of last year. There was unprecedented demand for silver products then too due to the coronavirus pandemic and the uh, drop, the huge drop in silver price. Uh, actually created a massive demand for the physical. This is actually a very good thing because this is a real um, short squeeze on silver when you buy the physical products themselves. But let's talk about what precipitated this. It is essentially the Reddit forums um, that uh, has caused a great demand for silver um, in the in the last week here. And the, the, I did a video about the second full day of of attempted squeeze on the markets um, that was accumulating, but it really didn't move the price. It didn't move the needle up very much. So it was relatively unimpressive in my view of, uh, during that time period compared to what happened with GameStop, AMC, BlackBerry, and some of these other others. But uh, this is a chart uh, for the flows of money into um, silver. And this is the closest thing I could find that shows the flows. And this is a little contradictory to what I saw on Mike Maloney's video, which I, I watch, sometimes I'll watch some of his stuff to kind of see some breaking news. And he showed a chart of a massive inflow of money into the SLV. But I didn't see where that chart was. I couldn't find it. This shows the accumulation over a year, but over a week and yesterday, there was nil, nothing. Uh, in fact, that was negative territory. So this is a little bit of confu confusion to me as to where he got that information. However, upon further research of the SLV, we can see here that um, you know it has a, a much lower price than the spot price, but I think that's how that works. But here is SLV, and um, you can see that its activity since August is actually down. Well, this is where it got up to you know, at $27 level, but it's still down. And the flows through this particular time period is is um, really small. I mean, and you can see here, even if, if we, even if we go back five days, we can see here um, during this time, the, these were the attempts, it looks like, uh, over the past five days for this, for this short squeeze. And it didn't go parabolic then. Um, I mean, it makes me question if it will go parabolic um, tonight when it opens but if you look here at the technical analysis here it says it's a strong buy and so uh, they are uh, anticipating something and we'll see how that plays out um, if we look at some more of the uh, 
um, technicals on this. It gives us a little bit of of where it's at here. The summary is it's a well, it's a strong buy. So that strong buy is they're anticipating something too, and um, we'll see how that plays out. But I don't see anything here about the inflow of 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 money into this because of course that would have a massive impact on price. I don't know where that um, information was perceived from the gold silver uh, channel there, but nonetheless, it is interesting to see. And obviously, there's something substantial to this because Atmex, the biggest bullion dealer in the world, is stopping the sale of silver on their website. We're going to explore that a little bit more, but uh, of course, Provident Metals, uh, they haven't put a statement out uh, to that effect. But we know that they and other bullion dealers have said that order volume, they're experiencing shipping delays, but they're still selling. And But we're going to go here. We're going to start with that, uh, with Provident, because they um, don't have that message. Let's see what's in stock, and let's see what is uh, shipping now when we go to check out their website. We can see that the one-ounce American Eagle is not in stock. Um, none of these silver items are in stock with relation to the American Eagle. Um, and there's some gold left, but uh, not silver. So we very well may see um, some of these prices um, go up. Um, and obviously some of the other products may the demand and the premiums may go up. And you can see some of these silver pieces here are still available, but at um, this is higher premium silver. Um, and here we have uh, this silver round here, which is generic silver. You've actually seen me review this. And it is $31.20 for cash when silver is sitting at uh, $27. So the premiums are high on this, but you can get it, but you're going to pay a higher premium. Um, so there's where that is. And we have some also constitutional silver. And these products here are available on Provident, but not so much on Atmex. In fact, if we see here on available products for silver on Atmex, let's see what we have here. Not a whole lot. Most of it is very high premium silver. Um, and yeah, very high premium. And then not much to choose from. It's stuff that they're worried about losing their shirt on if the markets do open up on Sunday night. So apparently they are seeing some charts and some data that I'm not um, privy to. Um, and apparently others are, these billion dealers are showing the same thing. Let's take a look at Bull Precious Metals, um, which is a little smaller bullion dealer and see what we have here. No products matching your selection. New arrivals for silver. Let's see if there's anything. No, nothing there. Let's see if we see anything in here at all that we can see for American Eagles. No products. So it looks like a bull precious metals is out of silver as well. Uh, nothing there for silver. Um, let's just look one other place here and see what they've got. Most of these blenders, because of the kind of the squeeze that we saw last year on the physical, uh, they have in stock silver but there's no in stock silver here that we see from bull precious metals let's go to in stock silver for monument metals and they have the message too due to increased demand allow five to ten business days and so let's take a look at what in stock silver that monument metals has and my guess is We'll see much the same. There is a few options. Hey, you can get a, an empty Silver Eagle tube still. That's good. All right. And the, 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 uh, again, this is a silver coin that has 50% silver, not very much in demand, but it's available. But other, other than that, there's um, some 90% silver options here. One half ounce over rounds that are um, really about $32 per ounce for those again high premium and um, we do have sunshine minting at $30 a pop 
Um, and these are considered probably fair prices considering what's going on uh, over, over, overnight here. Um, so there is some silver stock, but you notice what's not on this list, and that is silver eagles, except for higher premium silver eagles, like proof silver eagles that you see there. Uh, this is unprecedented, folks. Um, literally, um, they have shut the door on any kind of silver that would be considered silver for stacking. And so there we go. We're seeing more and more of it. The only thing that's there is high premium silver. Bullion Exchanges um, is another website that uh, we can check and see what's what's there. Let's see. Let's just look at American Eagles here. We're going to see much the same thing. Um, well, look, they've got a silver eagle at Bullion Exchanges. This is a uh, this is unusual. Um, and but you're going to pay thirty six dollars for uh, one of those there. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so apparently this is the only place I've seen so far that has silver on sale, um, stacking silver. But, you, you know, this is not a stacking silver coin today. This is a high premium silver coin today. SD Bullion has, a, has the message, the same message as Atmex. Due to unprecedented silver demand, SD Bullion is unable to accept any additional orders until the market opens on Sunday evening. Now... Market opens, they will open up the floodgates and be able to do it. But look here, there is a 2020 Silver American Eagle for 35 bucks, and it looks like you can add it to your cart. So um, I don't know if this is um, what this means because they are not. This message makes it sound like they're not accepting any orders at all. Uh, so we'll see how that plays out. But nonetheless, those are some of the um, uh, selected bullion dealers that we're looking at here. And that are not selling silver um, and they're holding on now what could happen when the markets open up um, tonight we'll find out live on this channel uh, the Sunday night market watch I would encourage you to tune in and we'll see we may even have these websites up to see if they open up sales and uh, you know what could happen there's two things that could happen really that's what it boils down to the prices could marginally rise a little bit or stay the same or fall like usual. That's the possibility, um, except for what I saw on uh, Mike Maloney's channel, if that's true, with that one chart that I witnessed and, and saw that shows his inflow uh, is spiked up like crazy, then we could see uh, prices go parabolic for silver, and uh, we could see the silver ratio narrow sharply, and if that occurs, well, then, um, uh, you're going to see them, all the bullion dealers will open up and they will not only sell silver uh, based off the spot price, but they will sell it for an increased premium above that spot price. So you very well may be paying $45 for a Silver Eagle again, like you did back in 2011. Uh, and they'll be open up. If silver goes up to $30 or $32, $33 an ounce, you might be paying a $10, $12 premium on that, on that Eagle. Be prepared for that. And people probably will buy at that price. I would encourage you not to buy at that price. I would encourage you to hold on and wait this out. I'm not buying a single silver thing. No way, Jose, or anybody else that rhymes with the name, no way. Um, not going to do it. Not going to participate in this mad rush, this parabolic move, or what have you. That's why you do what I refer to as smart dollar cost averaging. This is the very time to not panic, even though it's a panicky type situation. But you think about it, it is a short squeeze, and we're an attempt of a short squeeze. I'm not even going to give it credence until it actually happens yet, folks. Um, that's where I'm at on this, as I've been, in the, I've been cautious in the last few videos about this subject. And I want to encourage you to be cautious as well, too. Do not panic buy. That's the worst thing you can do. Um, and and this too shall pass. That's another thing too. This too shall pass, which means that uh, things are going to normalize quickly. And I want to tell you, and I wish I could find this chart that Mike Maloney had up on his channel. Because on that very same chart, the very same one that showed that parabolic move upwards for silver cash inflows into the SLV, just where it was, 
showed a massive red line down for the massive massive cash outflows. Now I couldn't see uh, if that chart was um, uh, looking at the whole year or within a year. I imagine it was because that's what happened in March of last year. Everybody got out of the SLV and ran to the safety of cash. But the, there are spikes upwards and there's massive crash dips downwards. Uh, this has been a volatile time. It's been unprecedented on many different levels. You're probably tired of hearing that word, but things will normalize. There will be silver available again for a decent price in due course. Um, and and if it does go parabolic and if it goes up to $50 an ounce, which I still doubt very seriously it will, well, I'll, I still will eat crow, as I mentioned in the last video about this. Um, but uh, I don't even think it's going to get to $50. I think this parabolic move may bring us to $35, $40, perhaps. We'll see. It'll be interesting to see. Um, and just for the entertainment, sheer entertainment factor, many of you would like to see me eat crow. I need to figure out what crow is, by the way, and how do you eat it? Um, but so I'll need to research that a little bit. But nonetheless, it is an interesting time. It's fun to talk about. But I think as we look at this, we should take a step back, take a deep breath, do not buy silver uh, right now. Um, and I've mentioned in, in the video uh, earlier that the really short squeeze is to buy physical silver. And so if you can find it now, hey, yeah, buy it. But if it goes parabolic, that's when you don't buy. When it, when it, goes, when it starts to move up in an upwards direction like, like it is, uh, or like um, they're anticipating it to be, then you buy. But what happened last week here, um, if we look at this, let's take a look at um, uh, the five-day chart here. Um, yes, it, it went up. And, um, and you know, it's still not a bad time to buy uh, because it's still relatively even you know, or, you know, it's just a, a move slide upwards. And uh, But what's going to happen when it does go up is people are going to sell like crazy. At least I know... I know several in the community said that, hey, if silver gets to 50 bucks, I'm selling. And it might not be a bad idea to do. In fact, I may even unload some. Um, so we'll see. But nonetheless, there it is. It's a time, a very interesting time in, in the history of silver, uh, for sure. It's a strong buy right now. Um, we'll see what this says if, it, if we get to um, um, Sunday night and, and the price does jump $10, let's say. Uh, let's see if it's a strong buy then. But there you have it. There's the breaking news for the day. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.